Hello, YTPC. Ian Owens here, or Nerdy Piper. Um, making my first video for the YTPC in three years. Uh, there's a reason for that, and I will get to that in a second. But before that, a little bit of housekeeping. Smoking my Peterson Spigot, emerald green. Little silver bits there. I think this is a beautiful pipe. Um, and inside of it, I have my favorite aromatic, which is Sutliff's Taste of Summer. It's a hot day outside. I think it's 93 degrees. This uh, definitely lives up to its name, Taste of Summer. It says, a taste of summer, delicious peaches with refreshing cream. And uh, I definitely do taste that. Nothing super deep or complex here. Just, to me, a very easy, yummy uh, smoke that I, I really, really enjoy. Okay, so this video serve two purposes. Number one, a VR response to Michel Baruch for his 100 sub giveaway, which congratulations, Michel. I'm really enjoying your content, and uh, I hope you, hope you get the goodies Friday when they're supposed to show up. I'm excited to see what you think. Um, and then the second reason is to reintroduce myself to the YTPC since I have not made a video in so long. Uh, so first reason, first things first, first reason for the video, Michel. So, in this video, you wanted us to do three things. Number one, shout out to three YouTubers, uh, YTPC, mem uh, YTPC members with under 150 subs. Number two, name our hero who entertains us the most, who informs us the most. Number three, um give you some interesting information about uh, Milwaukee or Wisconsin. Okay, so number one, three YouTubers. I, I hope that you don't mind, but I want to answer this question in the heart that I believe it was asked, which is to grow the community um, and, and just get more subs for more people to, uh, to help people uh, get better integrated rather than the specifics of the question. So rather than giving you three, uh, I would like to give five, if that's okay. So I know it's not what you asked for, but I think it's the heart of what you were asking. And so the first one, the Aromatic Piper. I know some people have, have given him shout-outs already. Already, I think he has a great format. I enjoy uh, the reviews he's done. Uh, definitely worth watching. He has 130 subs as of right now. Uh, another guy, Chris Kearns. I saw him uh, through a video response to your giveaway. And he only has nine subs right now, but he seems like a really great guy. Traveler Mike, an awesome gentleman there. Enjoy his video so far. 76 subs on him. Southside Piper, seems like a pretty funny guy. Uh, I'm originally from Jackson, Mississippi, so uh, his his humor and accent, I, I kind of kind of right there with you, man. Now, let's see the Catholic Pipe Stutter. I saw him through a, a video response as well, and he's sitting at 31 subs. So, great guys, great content. I think you ought to check them out. And then the second thing you asked was who was our most influential, I guess, the, uh, the hero, YPPC hero. That's, that's a hard question. I think... Uh, I think some others have said that as well. It's difficult to come up or narrow it down to just one, honestly. I have uh, I've been watching for so long. There are so many who have made impacts, but I guess I have to say, as far as informative, who I've learned the most from, and his name has been said a million times because he deserves it, but it is definitely mutt and chop. Piper. I mean, he's just, uh, he just seems like the authority in the YTPC and uh, great, great content. Love his delivery, uh, love his character. Uh, I gotta say though, for me, the person who entertains me the most, so the informative and entertainer might not be the same thing, but the, the person who entertains me the most is definitely Elwood Maker. He's funny to me. He makes me laugh. Also, I think I heard him say that his mother was from Macomb, Mississippi, which is not far from where I was born and raised, uh, Byram, Mississippi. I don't live in Byram now. I live in Dry Ridge, Kentucky, which is just about 30 miles south of Cincinnati. 
Ohio, right over the river. I live about 15 minutes from Strauss Tobacconist, where they make Sleepy Hollow and Wenceslas. Uh, wink, wink there, Michelle. Um, you should know what that means. Uh, but anyway, third thing, information about Wisconsin. As you can see, there's a reason I picked Nerdy Piper for the sobriquet. Uh, I love that all things 80s pop culture, comic books, superheroes, 80s toys, He-Man, Thundercats, all that stuff. I've said that in one of those older videos. Um, so I'm going to approach it from that direction. Recently, the Marvel Cinematic Universe came out with a movie called Civil War as part of their Avengers series. Loosely based on the Marvel Comics Civil War event uh, from several years back. Uh, not entirely, uh, but, but loosely. There were similarities. In the Marvel Comics, what happens is um, a group of amateur superheroes is doing a reality TV show. And they engage um, a villain they're not prepared to take on. He uh, explodes. He has atomic nuclear power. See, he explodes and he kills a school full of children. When this happens, um, Tony Stark and the government decide that there needs to be an accountability program for superheroes to be trained, to learn, so that they're not out there causing destruction and, uh, and taking needless lives. Um, so they, uh, they form the Avengers Initiative Act. And in this initiative act, they assign a group of superheroes to every state. All 50 states get uh, an Avengers group, essentially. So, Milwaukee, Wisconsin is home to the Great Lakes Avengers. Didn't know if you knew that. Uh, it consists of Mr. Immortal was their leader. There was a female pterodactyl-looking lady named Dinah Saar dinosaur. Another female member named Big Bertha. She was a supermodel by day and when she activated her powers she'd grow to be a metric ton I believe and looked like the blob from the X-Men. You couldn't move her. Uh, she was super strong, super dense. Also you had Flat Man who is exactly what he sounds like. Flat. <clears throat> like a piece of paper. And you had Doorman who was in my opinion the coolest superhero on the, on the team there and he was a living teleport door is what he was. He was a living portal. So anyway, if you ever get in trouble from local supervillains, uh, you need to call the Great Lakes Avengers. They are Milwaukee, Wisconsin's superhero Avengers team. So there you go. Hopefully that helps out. And then, um, okay, so, so reason number two for the video. Three years ago, after lurking, um, for so long, I decided to make a couple of videos, introduce myself to the YTPC, try to uh, get integrated and, and get to know you guys and just introduce myself. Very shortly, and I do mean very shortly, after I posted my second video, uh, my wife of 15 years now uh, ruptured a brain aneurysm, I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage, a series of hemorrhagic strokes, and uh, obviously a very big deal. We have three children. I uh, did at the time, and uh, we ended up being in the hospital for quite a long time. I'm not going to make this a heavy, depressing video. That's not what I'm here for. She is perfectly fine. Um, there are people who have gone through what she... Most people who have gone through that are, are not living, but those that are, most of them have serious impairments, whether it be physical or, or mental or whatever, and she's perfectly healthy. There is a we had a huge healing miracle, um, uh, and we were only in the hospital for 17 days. That's a long time, but that's so much better than what it could have been. And, and she has no impairments, no no impedances. Uh, she, you, you'd never know. If, if someone didn't tell you it happened, you wouldn't know it happened. She functions perfectly. She looks great. She perfect health. So anyway, it was enough, though, to uh, really kind of kick me out of the momentum I had going there and so I'd like to kind of prevent that from happening this time and, and to be able to reintegrate and so uh, I'm excited about it I'm excited about getting tied back in it's changed a little bit uh, in the three years you people come and go I guess that's the way it is it's a very organic community um, people come people leave I think that's the way it is with most things um, but I'm excited to, to meet and, and 
get to know the new guys, learn who you are. Um, I want to do a couple of shout outs of my own too, though. Um, in addition to Michelle Baruch, who, who is this, this video is for, but Justin Taylor, I'm really enjoying your content right now, man. I, you seem like an awesome guy from Louisiana, kind of guy I'd love to hang out with. I think we're the same age too. You said something in a video where you were born in 80. You were telling the years of, of age on pipe tobacco you picked up at, at a Chicago pipe show and one was 91 and one was 84 and you were saying you would be four and 11 respectively. I was born in 80 as well, so I think we're the same age there. And then also uh, Derek Tant. He was going. He was really kind of a, a runner-up for my most influential there, Michelle, because I learn an awful lot from him, too. I enjoy his reviews. I enjoy his approach. I enjoy his delivery. Uh, just pretty much all the subject matter that he puts out. I really, really enjoy that. Seems like another good hang. Um, and I guess that's it for this video. So congratulations, Michelle. Um, I hope to continue to enjoy your content. And uh, and that's about it for me. Oh, a um, thought for a future video I want to do here in the next couple of days. I'd like to talk about what everybody likes to see the most. And we won't get into that here, but um, what you like to see, what you enjoy most from YouTube Pipe Community video content. What do you enjoy the most? And then I'll share what I enjoy the most and why. And I uh, would love to get some some exchange going about that. Oh, one more thing. I'm not doing this very well. I'm very broken up. I want to show you something really cool. My uh, In one of my first videos that I posted, I talked about the reason that I got into some pipe smoking was a very nostalgic reason. My papa, my dad's dad, he smoked a pipe as I was growing up. And I just Love the smell. You know, the, that old story, everybody has one. It seems like it's all kind of the same. But uh, he was career military. He retired as a colonel in the Army. The U.S. Army Air before he was, was Army, but um, or before there was an Air Force, rather. He flew helicopters. But he retired as a colonel and uh, served in three wars. And uh, this is his pipe tool, his pipe tamper. Really, really pretty and I got this he passed about five years ago and and I got this I think it's such a cool little tamper and it's a really cool thing to have that belonged to him especially since um, he kicked off my interest in the hobby so many years ago uh, without knowing he did so all right so have a good night YTPC and uh, I will talk to you soon